in this video we will see the pick list multi pick list uh, behavior in uh, oracle fusion cloud uh, redwood ui so i am in opportunity object and i have uh, a field called uh, applicable countries in opportunities and then it's a uh, it's a type of multi choice list and i have used one existing uh, lookup country code uh, where i can see european country codes in this uh, standard lookup i have the list of countries and i enabled uh, more than uh, around more than 50 so i have list of countries here now um i have added this field here and then i am i'm previewing this so by default if i go to uh, any one of the record let me preview okay so this is the field um we have uh, applicable countries and then uh, here by default i can see a list of uh, values and i can see only 15 values here by default and then i can select these values so this is the uh, default behavior i am showing so if you want if you want to type just click on the uh, uh, the field inside field and you can type the value Okay, and then select the country. So that's how you can search uh, uh, using this standard uh, default uh, behavior. And here, uh, by default, we can select only uh, fifteen values. So let me select fifteen values here. So now you can see we have fourteen values, and if I click on this. i can see only the another uh, value that is 15th value now 15th value i selected now if i click on uh, the uh, inside field i don't see value so to see the value uh, i need to type and then i need to select the value okay so uh, and here uh, again for next values right so it, it is not uh, showing right so if suppose let's say the user doesn't know what values are exist so he will not be able to search by by providing a keyword right and then he won't be able to uh, unless he knows the uh, key, uh, some value right so he doesn't Will, he he won't he won't be able to select so we can change this behavior by using a a, a custom template to the uh, multi picker multi picker so we have an article here and uh, in in the support article article number uh, kb174614 so using this uh, we can change this behavior and uh, we can display all the values and we can give a, a search uh, search bar and then uh, we can select more than um, 15 or 25 values so by giving even if we know the value so we can select up to 25 values after 25 so we can't uh, we can't select uh, here so that's the uh, default behavior now we will see how we can apply uh, a template to this now uh, first uh, first thing we need to uh, create a template and provide this use oj select many template and uh, use this crowd so i'm going to the uh, applicable country field i'm creating a template
now i'll go to code mode so by default i can see a text uh, field oj input text i'll remove and then i'll add the oj select many class so let me add the missing tag and then uh, so here uh, we can see the important thing is uh, minus one so minus one uh, keeping this value will return all the results and by default it's 25 is a limit or 15 here uh, we need to uh, we are using a sdps a service data provider and uh, it's a variable so let me name it as a sdp country and this uh, with the same name uh, i'll be creating a, a variable let me copy so i have modified a template and then now i'll go to variables and here i'll create a variable with the same id that i use it in the template sdp country and this is of type service data provider in a service data provider we can select an endpoint let me select an endpoint so that is fnd lookups so here we will need to select a get all method and we need to provide which values we want to show So this is a, a get all method, selecting get all, and then click next. Select uh, the fields, expand items, and select the lookup meaning and lookup code. These fields we want now, and in response, we will get this. So now let me click finish, and then we'll go to code mode here to add an expression. So this is the SDP country variable, right? And now we'll add the uh, the UI URI parameters, find uh, filter, key attributes, all these properties. So copy this code below to items path, and then add a comma after items path, and then add the the remaining code. Now here, uh, we will need to change the lookup type. So in, a, in our case, the lookup code is European country codes. Let me copy the European codes. And I'll replace here. That's all. So now if I go to rule sets, uh, our custom template is associated and uh, to custom template uh, OJ multi, uh, multi select uh, component, we are giving the SDP and that SDP uh, we are filtering based on the lookups available in this lookup type. Now let's preview this change. Now you see uh, a different behavior where we can see a search bar. So earlier we don't see a search bar and now we can see search bar, right? Uh, so we have already selected uh, more than 15 values and uh, the remaining values are now showing. So user doesn't need to type, um, I mean, uh, right here, but when we click on this, um, so it will automatically provide a search box and also the values values that are not selected will display here all the values right so this way user even even though the user doesn't user uh, doesn't know the value to select so he can scroll down uh, till the last value and he can select the last values or whatever applicable values and also uh, with this approach uh, we can select more than 
25 values. Let me select more values. And we can search also, and then we can select that is also supported. Now we have around 20, uh, 26 values. Let's see. So now we can select all the values, right? So even if further, if you want uh, to select, I can, I am able to select. Let me save again. The last value is Bermuda. So I'm able to select. So this is how we can implement the multi-picker with a custom approach and custom uh, template.